What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute arms and shoulders circuit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 40 minute arms and shoulders circuit workout. We're gonna be operating in three exercises for 45 seconds for two rounds and then 30 seconds for the last round, meaning shorter time, push that weight up for the last round, okay? So as far as dumbbells, I'm gonna be using anywhere between probably 10 for a straight arm kickback at the end, all the way up to 30, 35 for an overhead shoulder press, okay? So have options in there for your biceps, triceps, and shoulders today. All right, also make sure you have water and a sweat towel, and if you want either of these guys that I have over here, the water bottle or the sweat towel, we have those on our website, always in the description below, so if you wanna grab one of those, it's there for you. Also, make sure before we get started that you have gone ahead and clicked subscribe. If you're using these workouts, that means so much to me, and that helps us reach more bodies, more people all over the world, okay? So I appreciate you helping us do that. Now let's jump right into your warm up. okay? Big thumbs up if you're ready. And we're gonna start with a cross body arm swing with that left arm coming across and up in three, two, one, here we go. There you go, let's go four, three, switch directions, two, one, now bring it over and down. Good. Nice job, let's go four, three, two, one, switch it over, face the left, take that right arm up and around. Great job, so glad you guys are here today. This is gonna be a strength workout, so all upper body and switch directions, good job. Okay, we have 15 seconds of rest in between each exercise and 30 to 45 seconds in between each circuit. Okay, back to the middle, open and cross with your thumbs facing the sky. There you go. So we get posterior deltoid when you cross in front, anterior and chest when you cross out, or when you open it up to the side, I should say. And we'll be hitting all three heads of the shoulder. So anterior, lateral, and posterior. There you go. Good, bring your hands up to the top like you're holding a bowl of soup, and let's scoot back and up. Great job, four, three, two, and one. All right, now bring your fingertips facing down to the floor. I want you to pull back just a little bit. Stretch out your forearms. If you need to go a little deeper, you can bend your elbow. Sorry, my elbow is double jointed if that grosses anyone out, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead and flip it over. Take your fingers out to the pinky side and pull again. You should feel it up top here. Great job. Now go ahead and give me some wrist circles for 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, switch directions and come around the other way. There we go. 3, 2, 1. All right, other hand, palm faces the floor. Pull, pull, pull. And a lot of the upper body work that we do has a lot to do with grip. So those muscles in your forearms and your hand. Super crucial for just making sure that your grip stays tight as you push and pull these heavy dumbbells. Go ahead and flip it over. Good. And that gets stronger simply by just doing it consistently. If you have somewhere to hang, uh, if you have one of those grip machines where you can just kind of squeeze against the little spring-loaded uh, contraption that they make. Good, wrist circles over here. That's really the only way to get better grip strength is just to practice holding, holding your body weight, holding heavy dumbbells, and rotate the other way. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and jump into your first circuit. You have a curl and double shoulder press, okay? So, dumbbells done at the side. I'm gonna use my 20s for round number one. You're gonna curl, come up, press one, press two, okay, and then come back down. All right, let's go together in two, one, here we go. One hammer curl, press one, press two, and then come back down to the side. Nice, and when you unroll, I want you to roll down slow, okay? So you press one, press two, make sure you don't just, okay? <laughs> Bring it down from here, 
Unfold the bicep curl. Start off with some compound moves. To get everything nice and warm in this first circuit. Good, 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We're switching to the posterior deltoid now. We've got a wide row, okay? So I want you to hinge, all right? We're gonna step, hinge, row. Come back up, step, hinge, row. All right, let's go together. Two, one. I want your elbows nice and wide. There you go. They're driving out and back. And this helps kind of relieve some of the pressure on the back so you're not hinged the whole time. Good job. Take it out to the side. Make sure you're not just coming straight up. You're going out, circling your rib cage. Beautiful. Six. Keep that chest down. Three, two, one. Awesome. And we're going tricep kickbacks. So I'm going to go down to my tens. 45 seconds. I want to pause, squeeze at the back. So you're here. Squeeze, release. Ready? Two, one. Let's go. Good. Nothing should be moving except for your forearm. There you go. Every rep is quality. Every rep matters. Okay, especially in an upper body workout, you don't want to go through the motions. You want to execute every rep like it's your last one. 13, 12, good job. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, good. Hammer curl and double press. All right, go up if you can. Ready, we're going in seven seconds. One curl, press, press, unfold with uh, control. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Almost said balance. Same thing too. And unfold with balance too. Good work. Core is in control. If you need to stagger your feet, that's okay. Beautiful, 13 seconds. Five, four, two, one, good. All right, dumbbells down, and we're back to that step, wide row. I'm gonna use my 15s, felt pretty good control there. Okay, so you step, and you get that flat hinge, then you pull. Ready? Let's go. Good. Right outside the rib cage. Those little muscles right behind on the back side of your shoulder. Tough to target. So I want to make sure you're balanced, strong in your core. Elbows drive out and back. Let's go. Perfect, 12, 11. Five, four, two, one. Great job, shake your hands out. Tricep kickbacks. All right, 45 seconds. Last 45 bit for this first circuit and then we go 30 for the last round of each one. Ready, kickbacks, let's go. Don't drop your elbows when you come down either. Okay, notice if I start here, I don't want to come down here. I'm going to keep it here. Straight bend, like there's a pin in my elbow, pinning it to my rib cage, okay? That's your axis that you just rotate right around, or that's your lever point.
Good job, 13. Pinky to the sky, good work. Seven. Two, one, awesome job. Here's our 30 second round. Curl, double press, shake your hands out. All right, go up if you can, 30 seconds. Curl, press, press. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Good job. 15 seconds. Eight, seven. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Whew. All right, step forward, wide row. Here, out, back. Okay, make sure your shoulders don't do this. They stay down, you're going backwards. Okay, here we go. Two, one, let's get it. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Nice work, there we go, 10, nine, Three, two, one, good job. And tricep kickbacks. 30 seconds here. Good control. Let's go in five. Three, two, one, elbows pinned here. Push it high, let's go. Good, relax your shoulders. Make sure, again, they're not coming up here. Keep them down, pinky shoot away. If, it, if you're doing this, it might be a little bit too heavy. Six, five, one more. Three, two, one, and great work. Whew. All right, grab some water. You're doing great, guys. Shake your hands out. Whew. I made the mistake of putting lotion on my arms before this and now my hands slimy doesn't equal good grip strength <laughs> all right amateur mistake lateral raises is your first move for our second circuit okay 13 seconds we'll go together starting here with your dumbbells resting on your thighs a little bend in the knee tight core we go out back down Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, core tight, pause, and lower. Should be no bobbing of the knees. I know that makes it a little bit easier. Don't move those knees. Good work. It's not about the weight number, it's about how well you can control whatever weight you're using, okay? So I'd rather you use light weight and have this total in control pace you can feel that lateral deltoid lifting and lowering. Okay, 15 more seconds. Keep rocking, you're strong. Keep pushing that strength. Beautiful. Three, two, one, awesome. We've got a hammer curl to an internal rotation now. Okay, one at a time. Okay, so you take one arm here. Hammer curl, bring the pinky into the chest and back down, okay? Two, one, let's go together. Curl, rotate in, back down. And all that does is just bring in, isolating the bicep a tiny bit more. Good work. Good, give me 10 more seconds. Four, good, three, two, one, and rest. 
Oh, my dumbbells are slimy. <laughs> that was such a bad idea. Okay, next one we have alternating open curls. So you've got one, two, one, two, okay? Two curls right, two curls left. Your palm faces me. Ready? Let's go. That's it. Stronger, stronger, stronger. This is what it's all about. A little bend in the knee will help. A little tight core, a little pull back with the belly button. That helps you not bob back and forth. Same thing here. When you start to get tired, your shoulder will want to take over. You'll feel this. Okay, keep it down. 15 seconds. Five, four, two, one, rest. Beautiful job, we're back. Lateral raises. Whew. All right, good control here. Ready, two, one, let's go. Good, nice open chest. Pinky fingers are high on the outside. That's it, beautiful job. Good, 15 more seconds. Seven, six, three, two, one. Beautiful job. We're back, hammer curls with that internal rotation. I'm gonna grab one more sweat towel really quick. Okay, that actually did help <laughs> my grip strength a little bit. Hammer curls. Internal rotation. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Turn it in. Back out. Nice work. Make sure you're not shoulder diving into this dumbbell. I know how that helps a little bit. Keep it high. Beautiful. 15 more seconds. You can look at your arm. Yep, doing good. <laughs> 10, nine. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. So, pro tip, <laughs> grab some sweat towels if you happen to put lotion all over your hands and now your metal dumbbells are slimy. <laughs> All right, last round, two curls, two curls. Last round of the 45, I should say. Ready? Here we go. Good job. Curl one and curl two, and the other arm is just waiting. work. You've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, two, one. Beautiful rest. Whew. All right. Last round. Lateral raises 30 seconds. Okay. If you can go up, I want you to try that. All right. 30 seconds here and then we're done with lateral raises. Ready. Two, one, let's go. That's it. Ten, nine, five, four, two, one, rest. Good job. All right, hammer curl, internal rotation, one and one. I feel like I'm baking. <laughs> These are my oven mitts. <laughs> All right, ready. Let's grab those dumbbells, 30 seconds. 
two, one. Let's get it. Breathe. Every rep is a breath. Remember, 15 seconds. Good, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Good job. All right, two curls right, two curls left. Here we go, four, three, two, one, last 30 right here, and then we rest. That's it. Fifteen seconds. Come on, really push yourself here. I'm doing the same. I know you can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You've got 45 seconds rest, guys. Beautiful job. Whew. 45 seconds, grab some water, throw some dumbbells back up. If you're me, you've got basically your whole set out here. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start off our next set on the floor, okay? And basically all the moves today in this third circuit will be on the mat, okay? So I'm gonna grab my 20 pound dumbbells and you're gonna link these dumbbells together, okay? We've got a bent arm press and bent arm tricep overhead tap, okay? So, looks like this. You'll start elbows down on the ground, okay? You're gonna press straight up, connect your dumbbells. You're gonna bend, tap, and pull, tap. Straight back up and then back down, okay? Let's go together. I've got my 20s, okay? Let's go in four. Three, start with the press. Two, one, let's go. Press up, connect, bend, tap, straighten, back up. Bend, connect. There we go. Nice work, and that connection with your dumbbells will help you maintain a good shoulder stability throughout this whole move. Beautiful. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Now we're gonna go sit up and press, okay? I'm gonna keep my 20s, keeping them right here on the ground. Sit up, shoulder press, okay? If you're not good with sitting up with that heavier weight, keep them right here for when you do set up, then grab it, shoulder press. Okay, let's go in two, one, here we go. Sit up to your chest, press. Modification, leave them here. Sit up, grab them, press overhead. Okay. Nice work. Palms up to the ceiling, right? Raise the roof. Beautiful, come on. Eight, seven, almost there. Four, three, two, one. And your next set is back to what Dustin likes to call the bro curl, <laughs> okay? So give me your right leg out, right arm is here. Put your tricep up against your thigh. Pull right here, okay? Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice job. This tricep stabilization helps you not go back here, okay, but only arches here. So the only thing that moves is your forearm. Okay, first round here, second round, Left arm, and then we'll split that last round in half, okay? Good, 15 more seconds. 
Pull up, there you go. Seven, six. Come on, you're stronger. Two, one, and rest. And we're back. Tricep press into that overhead extension. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Press it up, connect, bend, and straighten. Beautiful. Elbows right down by your ribs. Fifteen more seconds. Eight, seven. Two, one, rest. Good job. Sit up and press. Like I said, if you don't want to do the sit up with the dumbbells, just leave them right here so that when you do get up there, you can grab them, press them up overhead. Ready? Let's go. Either way, whatever method you're doing, we're pushing our hardest together, right? That's the only thing that we both have to have in common. We're doing our best. 15. Come on, come on. 10. Four, three, two, one. Rest. I did a little extra because last round I accidentally stopped early. <laughs> All right, back to the curl. We're going over to the left arm. Good job, guys. Here we go. Open hand. Two, one. Let's go. Good work. So you're stabilizing here. And by the way, if you have a bench, you can be sitting on it like this, okay? And be here. Either way, as long as you have your tricep pinned up against your thigh so it doesn't go backwards, we're doing it all right. 20 seconds to go. Here we go. Good. 10, 9, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. All right, last round of the side uh, press, tricep press, and then overhead extension. If you can go up, let's do it together. Whatever you're doing, we're doing it together. Ready? 2, 1, 30 seconds. Let's do it. Good job, 15. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work. All right, 15 seconds, we go 30 seconds, sit up and press. Here we go. Three, two, one, Let's go. Control your core. Good job, 15. Nine, eight, four, one more. And rest, good job. Whew. All right, 15 seconds, curling on the left, 15 curling on the right. We'll start on the right, okay? Here we go, three, two, 
One, let's go. 15 seconds here. See if you can give me a good five reps. Four, three, two, one. Switch it right over, let's go. Five reps here, good strong reps. Two, one, and rest. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Beautiful job. You've got 30 seconds rest. <sighs> Actually, sorry, you got 45 seconds rest. And then we're going into our last circuit. Okay? Power moves here. We've got a power curl and slow eccentric lower. What does that mean? Power means I'm going to allow you to give yourself a little bit of momentum. Okay? So if you want to go here, we're here. Help yourself just a little bit. And then I want you slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Okay, that's your first move. Second move is a single arm push press and tricep overhead extension. Okay, I want you here. A little bit of help first. Grab it with both hands. Overhead extension. Down. Okay, overhead extension. The last one. Straight arm pulse back, so you're here. So not exactly a power move there, but just a burnout move on that one, okay? So let's start with our power curls. Give yourself some help on the curl and then slowly lower it. All right, here we go in four. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, slow, slow, slow. This is a lot of times what we don't focus on is this lowering. Great job, 15 seconds. Good job, six. One more, nice and slow. Four, three, two, one, good. All right, left arm does the work first on this one. I'm gonna use my 30 pound dumbbell. Okay, no, I'm gonna use my 25. 25 pound dumbbell, a little pulse. Dip, press, grab it with the other hand, overhead extension. Ready, let's go. Good job. 30 seconds left. job. Straight arm pulse back. I'm going to use my tens. Okay. Keep those elbows straight. <laughs> straight arm pulse back. Okay. So we go from thigh to the sky. Remember? Thigh, sky. Here we go. Two, one. Let's go. Beautiful. Good, squeeze out back. Fifteen seconds. Eight, seven. Almost there, a couple more reps. Three, two, one, good. Okay, fifteen seconds rest, we go round two. Power curl, slow eccentric. Okay, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Good, the control is all yours.
Beautiful. As much time under tension as you can give. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. All right, overhead, single arm push press, and tricep overhead extension. All right, here we go. Right hand this time, two, one, push press, grab it. Good, down, punch. Good. 15 seconds, make sure in that dip on that push press, you're not coming here, okay? You're bending the knees, not the shoulders. So you dip, then come up. Seven. Two, one, beautiful, woo! Really rocks the tricep. Woo. Okay, straight arm pushbacks. Last 45 second period of work today. Okay, two, one, let's go. Sky and thigh. Good work, you're strong. You're very strong. As much as it feels like right now, not your strongest, that's when you develop your strength. You're strong in getting through it. You're strong in not giving up. You're strong in doing everything you can right now. Keep being strong. 15. Good, drive it up. Three, two, one, Whew. rest. Okay, last round, power curl, slow eccentric. You've got 30 seconds of work. Can you give me anything heavier? If yes, let's go in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Slow on the way down. Get up quick. Good, 12. Four, three, and rest. Good job. 15 seconds each here. Push press, overhead extension. Let's start with the left hand, okay? Here we go, three, Two, one, push press, let's go. Switching in five, four, three, two, one, bring it down to the other side, let's go. Tight core, five, four, Two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. Straight arm pushbacks. You ready? 30 seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, keep those dumbbells moving. Thigh sky, come on. Thirteen, twelve, almost there. Nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and rest. You've made it to your cool down. Amazing work. Let your spine hang, dangle your arms for a second. All right. Slowly roll back up. Don't forget before you head out today to make sure you click subscribe 
please. We're back up to another huge goal, a huge milestone. And that's only because of you guys. You guys are such a big part in helping us change lives. And hopefully one of your lives is the lives that we're changing too. Okay, pull that left arm over across to your right. It's such a blessing to be able to <laughs> change your life. Dustin just tripped behind the camera, that's why I was laughing. It's such a blessing truly for us to be able to change anything positive in your life. Whether that's consistent fitness, if that's just your mindset leaving these workouts, pull up and over. We're so thankful that you've allowed us into your life, into your day, and hopefully you feel the same way. Hopefully you feel that you're getting a ton of value out of this, whether it's mental health time, whether it is you're feeling like a beast, which hopefully you are every time, whether it was tough or easy. I don't think it will ever really be easy if you're really pushing yourself, unless you need that kind of day, right? All right, let's pull your fingertips down. But hopefully every day you come, you realize step number one is an accomplishment, and that's showing up, okay? Step number two, completing the workout, accomplishment. Step number three, going as hard as you can, no matter if you modify, no matter if you have to slow down, no matter if you have to drop weights, no matter if it's your super strong day or a day that you're not feeling your greatest, you push your hardest. That's goal and mission accomplished number three. Flip over to the other hand. Okay, so that's all I want out of you today. In the workout, in your life, show up, complete it, and do the best you can. That's it, okay? Flip it over. You have a day where you need to slow it down. Take that slow down day. Okay, not every day is the day you're gonna feel your strongest, that's fine. The consistency in showing up no matter what is how we get closer to our goals. And that's what I want for you, is your goals achieved. Okay, big deep breath in, reach up, breathe in all the positive thoughts today. Big deep breath in, breathe in what you need. Optimism, positivity, gratitude. One more time, breathe it in. Good, it's now a part of your day. Now I want you to exhale something negative that you don't need, okay? You don't need pessimism, you don't need negativity, you don't need fear, you don't need self-doubt. Ready, big inhale, exhale it out. One more time, exhale all that negativity. All right, so we breathe in everything that we need. Optimism, gratitude, positivity, and then we breathe out. We exhale everything that we do not need. We do not need self-doubt, fear, negativity, pessimism, right? You don't need that. So we're breathing it out and we're breathing in what we need, okay? I'm so thankful for you and I'm thankful to be your trainer. I know I say it every day and you might be like, yeah, yeah, but I was thinking about this morning, a couple years ago, I was begging people to let me train them. I was like, please, if you could just tell your friends about me, I'm a personal trainer. And about three or four years ago, I was new to the city that I live in, so I knew zero people. And in that way, I was just working, 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 begging to be people's trainers, begging people to meet me and to meet me with their friends. And now here I am with you, people all over the world, and I'm so blessed to be your trainer every single day. So just know, I'm gonna show up for you, I want you to show up for yourself as well, and we're gonna get you closer to your goals every single day, okay? Make sure you check out all that's going on in the description below. We've got promos, we've got links to programs, we've got merchandise that we're restocking, so everything is always in that description. Just check it out and make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know that you crushed this workout. And then subscribe to our channel, please, if you haven't yet, and share it with all your friends. I'll see you back here tomorrow, and I'm so blessed to be your trainer. Bye, guys.